Hi there everyone, it's Anthony from Gateball Refereeing Channel. Today we're going to be discussing uh, something that where I personally saw uh, online uh, from a Korean Gateball channel. I believe their name from memory was Power Gateball. Uh, and it's it doesn't have an English name, so I'm just going to try to come up with the best that I can. And I'm going to be calling it Spark Swing. And it's an incredibly important concept that I think a lot of people don't quite understand. And it's how important a solid linear strike on a on the stroker's ball when performing a spark is. How imperative it is, especially in relation to sparking down boundaries. So right here, I've got uh, down the first line, I've got this boundary here, and uh, I'm deciding that I'm going to do a spark. Well, seems pretty easy, doesn't it? This is a relatively flat part of the lawn or the playing surface. It's on the inner court, especially. Uh, it's not uh, not difficult whatsoever. But there are a lot of things that can go wrong here, and we might, in our mind, and in many cases, blame the lawn in certain situations. I know I I've blamed the equipment many times. We might blame the lawn for pushing our ball in one direction or another, but in many cases, spark swing can be one of the defining factors as to where your ball is struck. And we're gonna be using this down the line method today because it's gonna be really important. So first I'll try and attempt a spark and I'll, I'll do my best here. So I'm uh, playing ball nine, I've touched ball seven. The referee's called the touch. And I'm gonna be placing my ball just there linear on the inside of the line and I'm just going to try straight as straight as I can sparking the ball and we can see it's moved slightly off to the left but you know it's it's quite safe I'll try to be a little bit more courageous and get one a little bit closer to the line just like that so that would be a great result now that's only achievable by creating, when our foot's on the ball and the swing, by creating a linear stroke. And this is one of the few times you wanna be very, very linear. Because if you remember back to our other video, when we're discussing the golf style stroke, we don't wanna be linear. We're coming really up. But the sparking stroke is completely different to the single ball stroke. And here, it's incredibly important to be as linear as possible. And you will hit down the ball, it's inevitable. But that doesn't really matter because it's under your foot. You often also see people, once they get here, put the uh, stick creating an angle forward so that they're even more linear, so that they're hitting down on the ball and it's just easier to get linear. Now, you might ask yourself the question, Anthony, why on earth does it matter if I'm linear? If these two balls, if physics says, I'll just put these two balls together like this. If physics says that the, I, I'm, I, I've set the balls and pretending that my foot's there, when I hit my ball, It'll act like a Newton's cradle and it'll shoot my ball off to the, off in the direction that they're pointing. Well, you might think that, but in comes the theory of spark swing. Spark swing involves the theory that if we strike our ball linear, it will go straight. If we come on the outside and strike to the left, so we're hitting down ways towards my left hand side across the ball this way, the ball will go to the left. If we strike this way and we come on the inside and we hit this way out to the right, the ball will be forced right. Now, this is all still saying that the balls are lined up perfectly straight. As you can see here, the balls are lined up perfectly straight just on the inside of this line. If I was just to step on these, which of course would be totally illegal, a normal gate ball, and I made a terribly over the top so I'm coming way on the outside, over the top, and I strike this way. So you can see my face, the, the um, uh, stick face is incredibly close to the uh, path, and I'm striking to the left. You'll see that the ball just goes straight left. You see it traveled very, very similarly towards the seven, even though it was aimed towards the six. You might say, oh, that doesn't make that much of a difference. It really does. We do the inverse of that. So we're gonna line them up straight again and I'll even step off them to make sure that they're lined up straight, straight towards the six. I'll pop my foot on, just make sure it's straight. And I'm gonna come this time way on the inside and strike this way. 
and you'll see that the ball does travel indeed. Don't hit your foot. How about we try it again? Because I was trying to come so far inside that it didn't work that well. But let's try it again. Aim dead straight, coming on the inside. Look at that. We've essentially caused the ball to go right even though it was aimed straight. So what's the moral of the story here? Well, the moral of the story is that we need to ensure that when we're performing an effective spark, we are trying our very best to be incredibly linear. Now you can do this in any number of ways. I tend to do it uh, with a bit of wrist cock. I like to get wrist cock because I can create extra power without going right or left. Now obviously when I was doing those things, I was exaggerating them quite a lot, but it doesn't, ta I mean, I, I missed it by a good two feet to the right there and a good two feet to the left. It doesn't take two feet in a game of gate ball, game of gate ball to make a difference. We just want to be as straight as we can. Even if I'm striking here, that's off target. I mean, it's, 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 it's gonna go to the left. And even if I'm striking and I think I'm going straight, but then my impact is actually here, that's still going out to the right. That ball could, you know, just as well go out to the right and out of bounds and enter the outer field. We just wanna make sure that we're being as linear as we are and as we can be, using whatever technique you want, but just linear as possible. And you can see even that one still went a little out to the left, but that one's probably as a result of aiming rather than hitting, or at least I'd like to think so. Just wanna make sure we're as linear as we can. Try to be a little braver and try to get the ball Aim nicely tight to the line, just like that, and that one would be perfect. Remembering the theory of spark swing, which says that even if the balls are aimed straight, and I hit out to the right, and that would have gone out, <laughs> out of bounds had it not hit the line tape, that if the, the, the stick is aimed to the right, the ball is going to go to the right, Similarly, if we aim slightly to the left, the ball can go way out to the left. And that's the theory of spark swing. Just making sure that we're hitting as straight as we can in order to get the balls to go straight during a spark, really anywhere on the court, but especially on the boundary lines. Pleasure making a video for you today and hope to see you on the channel sometime soon.